Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're gonna look at taking the code that we have and starting to use the classes that we've created in some more meaningful way. Before I get started, a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed and hit the notification icon. That really helps me out. And a huge thank you to my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. So in the last video, we had some feedback. People were saying that the game was crashing when they were hitting the cancel button in the location move menu. And the reason I didn't include this code in that last one is because it's essentially exactly the same as the logic in the build menu. However, here it is. This is the completed code. You had to create a new variable, uh, which was the return from the menu. And then if that variable is not minus one, a la this link here, then location equals mover. So we've basically created these two uh, menus to test the code, but we wanna put that into something a bit more useful now. And in order to do that, we need to create a new screen. So we're coming into our screens folder and we're going to add a new file. And this one's gonna be called main ui.rpy and like that so we're going to declare screen main ui like that and the first thing we're going to say is use and we're going to come into our bg image screen from yesterday we're going to copy that and we're going to go into our main UI.rpy and we're going to say that. So the first thing that this screen is going to do is put the background image in the background. So the main UI is essentially going to be a container. It's going to be like the overarching screen that's displayed most of the time. And every element in it is going to be a sub screen. So we've actually got everything we need for main UI because now what we're going to do is we're going to create subscreens in order to be able to provide our user with choices. So what we want to do is we want to create a now a build menu screen. We're just going to keep it nice and basic for start to start off with. So we're going to go into our screens again and we're going to create a new file and this one's going to be build UI.rpy like that and then we're going to go to screen build UI and we're just going to put in pass in there for now um, because we don't have anything to put in here we want to create our files and we're just putting pass in there so that it doesn't throw a hissy fit when we try and run our code because what we want to do now is I'm going to put a little informational bar at the top, top of the screen which contains the location and the amount of cache that we have. So we're going to create another new file. And this one's gonna be the top bar dot RPY. And the reason we're doing this in individual files is to make it much, much easier to locate the code that we want when we wanna change anything. If we have all of our screens in one long list, it's gonna take us a lot longer to find what we want. As you can see from the actual screens um, file, the actual screens.rpy file is very, very long and finding anything in there, unless you're constantly looking at this file is a massive pain. So we're just going to make life a bit easier on ourselves. So this one's going to be screen top bar. And the first thing we're going to do is create a frame and it's going to be xpos zero. Y pos zero. X size is going to be 1920. Y size is going to be, let's say 75, like that. And then inside that, we're going to create a H box. And we're going to have text in there. And the first bit of text is going to read our location. So we don't actually need to 
do that there we go like that and then the next bit of text is going to be our cache so mc we need to turn it into a string so that's our top bar setup now what we want to do is come back into our script and we've currently got this menu and what i actually want to do is i actually want to create a new variable and i'm just going to call this one ui return and we're going to come down here and we're going to copy this like that and then in our main ui we're going to copy the name of that come back into our script and we're going to do that and we're going to put a pound sign at the start of it like that now we can remove that from the loop so now all we're doing is we're calling the main ui like this so now we've got our bg image what we're also going to do is use and we're going to put our top bar in there as well and what we actually want to do here is we're going to change this to say call underscore screen and we're going to put that into our brackets there and we're going to say underscore layer equals screens like that so the next thing we're going to do is add our moving uh, window and we're going to have that as like a list of locations on the left hand side just for now so that you can actually navigate just simply by clicking the button so what we want to do is add a new screen so here we go new file and we're going to call this one mover.rpy like that and then we're going to create a screen and we're going to call this move ui and then we're going to create a frame and we're going to say x padding 25 y padding it's also going to be 25 and we're going to say uh, x align it's going to be 0, 0.0 and then the y a line will be 0.5 and this just means it's going to hover in the middle on the left hand side of the screen like that and then we can say has vbox don't need a um, label for this one oh, no, let's put a label in it just so you get to see so we're going to say locations that's the best way of putting it location and then we're going to say x minimum I want this one to be a minimum of 200 pixels now let's say 300 pixels wide so now we're going to add and buttons to it so we're going to say for q in location in rooms sorry so for q in rooms yep and then we're going to simply say for q, if q equals unlocked And we're going to create a text button and the text is going to read uh, q dot name like that and the action is going to be to return q dot name but we also want it to set a variable which we're going to create now so that our menu knows precisely what we've clicked on so we're going to come to our declarations and we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call this click type and it's going to be at the moment just an empty string now back into our movie UI and we're going to say in fact, we're going to reformat this to make your life a bit easier. I was going to do this before, but I've decided we're going to just call this a button and we're going to put text in it. Q name. Like that. And we're going to give it a background of fairly dark background like that. I'm going to give it a Y padding of two three 
add an X padding of 14, why not? And then we're going to put this in the X align will be, we don't need to put that in because that'll be on the left automatically. And we're going to say action. And then we're going to say set variable. And put a comma in there so it does two things. And then we're going to change the variable named, which we just declared like this. So we want to change that variable and we're going to set the value of it to move. There we go. So now we can say if click type is move, then we will use this in some way. So what we want to do back in our script is we actually now need to set click type as an empty string at the start of every loop of our game. So we're going to come here pound sign click type equals zero zero and all that does is it prevents it from sticking so we're resetting it every time we go around in our loop and it will only loop when we interact with the menu so we don't have to worry about it constantly being zero so now we can say if ui return move so if we've clicked on the move then we can say location equals UI return. We need to uh, remove layer screens because we haven't defined that particular layer. So we're going to remove that. Now we've got our main UI. So what we want to do is we now need to use this screen. So we're going to hit control C, copy the name of that. And we're just going to say use Control V like that, and we're going to save it. And what we actually need to do is in here, we need to actually change that to say click type. Check that we've got that variable correctly spelled by copying that and there. So now when we run our code, you can see that we can click on this list of locations on the left hand side and it will move us to a new location, which is awesome. So now we're going to put another window because this is going to increase when we build and buy. So what we want to do is we want to change the formatting of our top bar slightly so that we can add cash. So we're going to close this down like that. And in our top bar, we need to change the formatting a little bit and we want to change the top bar to x size 1920 and then we want to put the text here to x align 1.0 like that and we also want to put a dollar sign in front of it like that and there you go. So we now have our dollar sign over here and our location here, which changes when we click on the location. So now what we want to do is if we click on the money. We want to change that to a text button. So when we click on it, it adds a thousand dollars. And obviously this is only going to be a temporary thing, but even so, so we want to create a button and we want its X align to be 1.0 so we can actually remove change the action to first thing we want to do is set our set variable click type and we're going to change that to cheat the capital R an integer thousand like that now we can come back into our scripts.rpy and we're going to just copy this line here. And we're going to say if click type equals cheat mc.cache plus equals ui return. And we put a pound sign at the start of that. And what I want to do is come back into top bar again 
and I'm actually going to change the location of this again a little bit more because I feel like it's still just it's too hard up against the left hand side of the screen so I'm actually going to change this to 0 0.9 you can see it's a little bit better placed and if we click on it the money goes up so that's all there is to that one now we're going to come back into our build UI and we are going to write the code for that so we can get rid of this pass now like that and we're going to create a frame like this and we're basically just going to copy the same information from the move UI and then tinker with it afterwards. So we're going to control C like that. And we're going to change the X align. And this one's going to go on the right hand side of the screen like that has V box. And then we're going to change this to build. And what I didn't like in the previous screen which we're going to change is we're going to actually put a text in there which is just going to be a new line it has to be the right there we go and actually i'm going to copy that before we go any further and i'm going to stick that into here as well just to create a space between the title and the text contained within so we're saying for q in rooms if q dot unlocked so we're actually going to say now if not q unlocked and q dot and what we want is this code from our build menu here is actually ideal so we can copy that and it's a good job we had this to test so we're simply going to say that there and you've noticed we've somehow inherited another space so we're going to fix that now like this and that there so if MC cash is greater than Q cost and Q not Q unlocked, then now what we need to say is we're going to return I and we're going to change the click type to build. So now we need to come back into our script and we're going to put basically these two things copy those two lines and we're going to come into our if click type equals build there we go so rooms and we're going to say UI return and we're going to say MC cash equals rooms UI return cost so let's run that through the mill and check that that hasn't got, isn't going to crash. Nope, that all works fine. So now we can go into our main UI and we're going to copy the build UI's screen name and we're going to say use build UI. Come into launch project like that. Start the game. And now you can see that currently we can't afford anything. So this list is empty. And then as we increase the amount of money we have, that list increases. If we click on a location, it becomes available on the left and the money gets taken out. So we build our own suite and it comes away again. We can check that we can go into those locations like that. Build the back garden. That was an expensive one. I'm not surprised. Look at that. So we need more money. Click on terrace. Let's go and have a look on the terrace. Oh, isn't that pretty? You wouldn't think it was the same house, would you? So there you go. And that's basically how we turn our menu system into a screen menu system. So now when we can, we can fancy these up, you can play around with the formatting of these as much as you like to make them look how you want to. But essentially that's kind of how a map screen would work. You would simply change the background, but we'll cover that in another video. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, jump on it, get in there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.